welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the final episode of Dynasty Warriors 8 Extreme Legends Complete Edition. And what better way to end this than in Ambition Mode? Pushed the wrong button, by the way. So, yeah. I went through all the hell and damnation while grinding the mitigate grinding just so I could go on ahead and play all five kingdoms for you just so I can get ambition mode done and I'm still not finished yet well I, wait no I am finished ah. if this was actually the 360 version I'd be still grinding by now and I am going to still be grinding, because you want to know why? In order for me to actually get 30 wins in a row, I need at least, at least 800 stats across the board. That is 800 attack, health, and defense. And that costs gold. Gold right now that I don't have. None of the characters I have not even Lubu is powerful enough to actually go to 30. Maybe around the 15, yes, but 30, no. Am I gonna go to ultimate? No, and I'm gonna tell you why. Because of the fact that all I'm doing is getting supplies for the Tong Shui Tai. And by the way, it's the easiest way for you to get to uh, the 30th fight. However, here's the thing. It comes to a point where not even with Cyclone you'll be able to actually do damage. And that's why I say I'm going to need to be at least 800 as far as stats are concerned and possibly level uh, 80 or something just so I could get through all 30 fights because once I get to the 10 star difficulty it's going to remain that way for the room for well pass the 15th fight and that's it so I'm practically going to be grinding to get myself some more materials <clears throat> grinding so that I can finally put it in to ambition mode and by the way since I did get the 100% for ambition mode I Still had to come through and do a couple of missions so that the Tong Shui Tai needed to be completed anyway after I come back. That's how it unfortunately works. Because in the uh, 360 version, all you practically needed to do was just get to 100% and that's it. Extreme Legends, not so much. You have to do this first. So, my final thoughts as I'm gathering enough materials so that I can finally put an end to Ambition Mode. All in all, I actually did enjoy my time. Granted, this game had glitches. Granted, three-fourths of the time that I actually went there and fought this game, I had used the PS4 remote because at the time, my Hawkpog was not working because I couldn't for the life of me find the update to make it work. That's why it started working because there was an update that I was missing that would have made it work a lot earlier and I would have been able to use that earlier on in there Dynasty Warriors 8 as opposed to and actually for everything that I used for the uh, PS4 remote app. As much trouble as that damn remote app gave me, if I'd have known about that stupid update for my Hawk Pong earlier, I would have already recorded a god number of videos that I wanted to record it years ago. But alas, I didn't know. And it was actually released this year, to be honest. And that's the whole gist. It was things I didn't know or things I should have looked up and known about. But all in all, there were still people who actually watched to the bitter end. And for them, I thank them. 
And to be frank, looking back at all the Dynasty Warriors games I played, I mean, yeah, at the time I was using a capture card that had some sort of hiccups with the uh, resolution until I actually learned how to edit like low res into high res. And at the time, I was also under the low res restrictions of YouTube. So that part ain't my fault. <clears throat> Needless to say, I definitely went through a lot and learned a lot as time went on. I mean, yeah, there's still some problems with my audio, but that's not the case. But for the time being, before I continue, yeah, I'm gonna be taking a way too long trying to get enough for me to actually complete the Tong Shui Tai. So let's do something else, like show off the options because challenge mode is pretty much the same as it was in Seven Extreme Legends, actually. Cause challenge mode came back in that game. So let's go to Gallery said, And Gallery is basically where I got my achievement from almost getting everything there. Cause I managed to get all the wallpapers and stuff like that. Cause I went and completed all of the characters at level 40 or something like that. The only mi things I'm missing is failing that one star requirement on Jin. And as far as for Wu, I missed failing that too. That's the only thing that's different. Oh, and there was a star requirement I missed there as well. Otherwise, I practically got everything. And if I would have, and if I would have got those three events. I pretty much would have gotten an achievement. There's really much not left except for others. That's the only other thing I have to do is beat others to get the endings there. So, yeah. I practically almost done with all the movies and the events. And that's basically showing off all the characters. Yeah, there's several animals I'm missing and I have to go through the entirety of ambition mode to get them so on that mode well I think that's pretty much all for the gallery the encyclopedia is a little bit different this time around it actually cut and abridged the history of all the three kingdoms down in certain segments in four segments split in the four segments that's going through ten but nonetheless th this is probably the abridged version of romance needless to say everything was pretty much a bridge and if you think that you will actually see the collapse of Wu anytime soon it's probably up in the air i know they said it was confirmed but it's probably up in the air and chances are it's gonna be for a console that i don't have or i'll have to end up making room for steam ah <sighs> jeez but whatever the case folks if we do get another trounce into the three kingdoms with dynasty warriors or another trip hopefully they actually do finish the fight and bring on the war of the three king of the three no the eight princes not the war of the three kingdoms we're already doing that i meant the war of the eight princes and not just have it relegated to romance of the three kingdoms because let me be honest with you romance of the Thir three kingdoms 14 is garbage do not play that game. That game is bugged to hell. You're better off stopping at 13. And I think you're better off also starting at 5, I do believe, and working your way to 13. Although romance is time-consuming and I really can't... I mean, I do get into the game. I end up winning by dumb luck. Not even through skill. It's literally dumb luck. 
But whatever the case, folks, these are all the battles that are there, and here's a glossary of all the warriors, with the last one being Win Yang that dies. Really tragic, honestly, that everyone practically had keeled over by the time the uh, Jin Kingdom has arrived. At least everyone on the roster, anyway. All the more reason I say, hey, Koei, bring, like, the Jin Kingdom, like, past the Sumas, it being in control. Just do it. What's the harm? And I think the only thing that's left is challenge mode. They have Rampage, Inferno, which is pretty much like Rampage. Arena, which is defeating officers and as many officers as possible. Speed run, bridge melee. It's basically the same thing. Speed running is basically defeating enemies in a certain amount of time, and bridge melee is beating as many enemies as you can and then make sure they don't cross the bridge. You're practically saying Faye trying to do that. So yeah. There is something else I need to actually show off, too. The reason why I'm not playing others. Let's go on ahead and select the stage. All those stages we just got finished playing, they are available for others. And in order for you to get that last one, you have to beat at least 15 stages of others. And the last stage will be unlocked afterward. None of these have a star requirement. You just simply have to complete it, and that is it. That is all. And you've already played as Lu Bu, so what's the point? You're just playing as everybody else that didn't get shown in story mode. So on that note, back to the Tong Shui Tai, because I think we probably gained up enough materials by now, and I'll probably get thumbs down, because I didn't get red hair. As I said before, I'm going to need to do a lot of grinding in order for it to get powerful enough. Because you see, it doesn't matter the difficulty. Once that star rating gets to uh, 10, and the difficulty gets times 10, good luck. You're going to need it. And the Tong Shui Tai has been completed. And now... Instead of it looking like a half-assed town, now it's a port town where the Emperor can finally show up and he will bask in the glory of his brand new palace. Now, something that does irk my nerves about this game, they could have just went there and had different designs for the Emperors like separate how they look, have Saori look something different, or uh, Sun Shu. Hell, even have Sao Mao look different too. Especially since you had to kill him. Ironically enough, Sao Mao has a card in Dynasty Warriors Blast. But they don't actually bring him into the game and they had a design for him and they didn't make him playable in 9 and it was kind of a good thing considering how 9 turned out so at the end of the day ambition mode is technically 100% complete but not really so that means now, the only thing I'll probably be doing is literally grinding to get the barracks up, and I do believe the academy up. And once that's done, I technically am going to be grinding in order for me to take all the building and weapon supplies, because I don't need the weapon supplies anymore, thanks to the fact that the blacksmith is maxed out and I can just weapon fuse weapons. I'll be taking all those supplies and just putting it towards money to raise my characters. That's why I said in the review, grinding to mitigate grinding, but that's what we're going to be doing.
doing? Just randomly grinding. But at the end of the day, at least I won't have to ever do ambition mode ever again. Cause God have mercy. There's just so much monotonous grinding you can do before you get upset. And that's my biggest pet peeve with this game. I mean, I know it's hard. I know it's difficult. God forbid it's difficult and it'll kick you in the dick, especially in Nanjun. But, needless to say, folks. And the end of the day, when it comes down to ambition, it doesn't really matter what difficulty you take it on. You'll end up getting better weapons than anything legendary. Oh, speaking of which, I'll be putting out more on that later. It's just going to be you grinding monotonously for hours with whatever character is your favorite character just so you can get gems after you reach the bonds of certain people just so you can go on ahead and Make better weapons, that way you'll be able to get to red hair. And you'll have to go through a lot of stuff. Just so you can get uh, all the officers, all the fame. I mean, you will be put through the ringer. And if, I mean, the story mode is actually the best part, and so too is the free mode. But this... This right here, ambition is the most exhausting point. And, and like before Dynasty Warriors 8 Empires was announced, this was your empires right here. Much to the dismay of a lot of people, this was your Dynasty Warriors 8 Empires. Until the actual Dynasty Warriors 8 Empires came out and this, despite being uh, buggy and laggy at start, it's still a better game than going through the entirety of Ambition Mode. But still, for what it's worth, it is actually good. I meant the game, not, not Ambition Mode. The rest of the game is fine. So, with that said, the camp is filled with people to celebrate. The Tong Shui Tai is pretty much a crowning achievement. It is wonderful. Praise be to Lu Bu for pretty much filling up the entirety of the Tong Shui Tai. Whew! That is a pain in the ass to deal with. And what do we win? Real simple. We first win a Golden Panda. And that panda will be just like any other panda. The difference is with that panda, that panda will basically give you uh, a lot of stats and rare items. Meanwhile, that minister will send all of your soldiers that you worked hard to collect back out into the ether. Do not go near that manager. That is literally a so that minister is literally a soft reset. And I for one do not want to go through a soft reset. Not right now. So, let's check all of the uh allies we got here. But you know, I guess the only thing that's left is the training ground in the stable. And I'll just drop two on the stables, I suppose. Eventually, once I max out the stables, then I'll just be focusing on money. But for right now, there's other things that need to be getting. Like, for instance, the special prize for getting unparalleled fame. And since that has happened, the Emperor will actually give you a reward. That reward, believe it or not, and I'm pretty much sure you saw that 
what I actually did the DLC with Zhang Chuwa, that is the Emperor Sword, which by the way is the <clears throat> is the actual legendary weapon for, believe it or not, Sun Xuan. I thought it was for Cao Cao, but it's actually for Sun Xuan. And that legendary weapon cannot be sold and it's already maxed out. So I was trying to look for it and I didn't re I didn't find it. Actually, let's take you out. It didn't matter at the end of the day because this was before I actually started the DLC. And folks, I gotta say, kinda glad you all joined me on this. And it bears repeating. Because all of my Dynasty Warriors projects, good or bad, they all had one thing in common. Oh, yep, this is definitely Sun Chuan's sword, alright. And it's not max, they're all level 9. But whatever. But all of them had one thing in common. I practically enjoyed them, well, Almost all of them. Dynasty Warriors 6 and 9 had some problems. Lots of problems. But the rest... And also 9 Empires too. 9 Empires I had problems with. But the rest of them, I had fun. I had fun with 2. Despite the fact that everybody kept healing after I dropped combos. I had fun with Dynasty Warriors 3. Because that was the game that brought me into the dance in the first place. I had fun with Dynasty Warriors 4. That one was pretty fun. I mean, yeah, PlayStation failing aside, that was pretty fun. 5 literally is what put my channel on the map. If not 5, definitely 5 Empires. And I've had fun with 7. It's definitely got to redo that. And this game too. And also one that I did for the Arvin LP exhibition. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for joining me. For Dynasty Warriors 8 Extreme Legends Complete Edition. And on Wednesday, the end of Mafia is going to happen as well. So with that said, stay tuned for that. And next week, oh, you'll never see it coming with that playthrough. You'll see next week anyway. Peace out for now and take care. And thank you all for watching Dynasty Warriors 8. This is RPMan985. I'm done, finally.